know how to solve this equation for t. Let's review the algebra that we would need here. What would be the first step in simplifying this equation to solve this for t? Um, we take the ln. That's a good idea. Why should we take the natural log? Not just because there's an e here. The best reason to take the natural log is, let's review a little algebra. What's the natural log of x to the y power? How can you rewrite that in a simpler form? e to the y equals x. Now that, act, let's see, e to the y equals x. That's uh, actually an interpretation of the natural log. But that would, wouldn't really simplify this over here. The simplification is y over x. That's right. The nice thing about logs is they let you take down the exponent. The nice thing about logs is they let, let, they let you take down the exponent. So the log of x to the y power would just be y times the ln of x. That's why it was a good idea to take the logs here. Except before you do that, why don't we divide both sides by 400? That would make the equation simpler, right? We might as well divide these numbers here. So what would that give us? So you get ln s of e 4. Or 0.75. So let's just write 0.75 equals e and negative 1.2 t. And now we can take the natural log of both sides. So let's try working that out. ln of 0.75 Negative 0.12t times ln of e. So far, so good? Is ln of e 1? That's right, that's right, because the natural log is the inverse function of e. Natural log and e are inverse functions. So ln of 0.75 equals negative 0.12t. That's right. And then you divide by. You have a calculator? Good. So the key algebra trick here is that when there's a variable and an exponent, you need to take the log of both sides. It doesn't have to be the natural log. The natural log is the most convenient in this problem, though. No. In fact, we might as well use the natural logs here as well. We might as well just use natural logs, even though the regular log would work as well. Well, notice that all of these equations have a t in the exponent. Since yeah. all of these equations have a t in the exponent, if you're trying to solve for t, you have to take the natural log. If we're trying to solve for t, or if we're trying to solve for what's in the exponent, we have to take that natural log.